technical education contributes significantly to the industrial and economic development. The wheels of industry are kept moving by technical manpower deployed at various levels, namely certificate, diploma and degree. These three categories of technical manpower are the products of industrial training institutes, polytechnics and engineering colleges. To keep pace with the advancements taking place in technology and educational processes, the technical institutes need updated curricula, instructional resources, trained faculty and staff for which these institutes require the services of a resource system. Technical Teachers Training Institute in the beautiful and serene environment of Chandigarh is one of the four such resource institutes established in 1967 by the then Ministry of Education for the growth and development of technical education in the northern region. The institute has, since its inception, responded effectively to the needs of the system in addition to taking many initiatives for quality improvement over the years as a result of periodic introspection and review its programs and activities have multiplied manifold to be in unison with the demand presently the activities include staff development curriculum development instructional material development research and development and extension services and consultancy spread over a wide spectrum of areas Staff development through long and short-term education and training programs are offered in engineering and technology, applied sciences, education and educational management, curriculum development, educational technology, entrepreneurship development and rural development. Curricula for new need-based programs are designed on a rational methodology evolved over the years with the active involvement of all stakeholders. Existing curricula are reviewed periodically to ensure that these are in tune with the changing requirements of industry. The development of print and non-print instructional resources is undertaken in collaboration with technical institutions. The institute has a well-equipped educational television center for production of broadcast quality educational video programs. The institute also has facilitates to develop multimedia packages. Research and development projects related to educational policy, educational planning and management, instructional processes, problems faced by industry and community are taken up by the Institute, besides research undertaken as part of postgraduate programs. The Institute also extends its services to the system through implanting innovative projects and facilitating their implementation at the appropriate level. Consultancy services are also rendered to organizations connected with technical education at the regional, national and international levels. These services are provided in areas of engineering and technology and technical education. Services rendered by the Institute over the last three decades have resulted in a discernible positive impact on the system's performance. The Institute has been able to enhance the professional and teaching competence of teachers and create greater awareness about the need for periodic revision of curricula and the need for using modern instructional delivery. The system now has the capability to undertake curriculum design and review activities on its own. Another contribution of the Institute has been to bring about close interaction between technical institutes and industry for mutual benefits, thereby promoting on-the-job training of teachers and students. The Institute has assisted the technical institutions under the Community Polytechnic Scheme of Government of India for improving the quality of life of rural people through manpower development, technology transfer, technical support services and dissemination of information. Exclusive and tailor-made training programs for working professionals at all levels of management are also conducted by the Institute. 
the interventions made by the institution have led to an appreciable degree of confidence and self-reliance in the technical institutes for independently undertaking challenging tasks. The institute has, in the changing technological world and prevailing industrial and fiscal environment, a distinctive role to play in rendering services to industry and community and future generations of India. This will call for corresponding changes in the nature and structure of programs offered by the technical institutions for which the institute will have to assume a proactive stance in order to facilitate this planned change. While working more intensively with the existing programs and activities, focus of attention in the years to come would be offering programs in different modes such as web-based and distance learning, developing management information system for scientific planning and management of technical education, developing instructional materials by integrating various high-tech media, with continued support from the government through appropriate policies and adequate resources, there is no doubt that the Institute, endowed with dedicated faculty and staff whose untiring efforts have enabled it to rise to its present stature, can achieve even greater heights of excellence in the service of technical education system. Repeat.